Corona. I'm sorry. There, oh, isn't that a magnificent right. Corona? Yes. We can see, if you take a look at the color picture, Bill, you can see there are prominences of mountains of, uh, of red around the moon. They are absolutely beautiful. And the corona is, I think, as I said before, very globular in appearance, but streamers coming out in all directions. It must be a breathtaking experience. It's beginning to, to lighten a little bit on the right side, and very soon the eclipse is going to be over there. I can definitely see it getting brighter on the right side of the image right now. The moon is moving across the sun, and their period of totality, which lasts about 2 minutes and uh, 47 seconds, uh, will almost be over, and the shadow will be heading our way very, very quickly. Um, a great Isn't this a wonderful experience, Bill, to be able to see totality just a few miles away? And right now, if you look up in the sky, you'll see that we still have the thin sliver. Mm -hmm. All across the province of Manitoba, people are doing different things, but they're all part of this eclipse right now. And you notice that our friend the rooster is a little more vocal right now. He really is. And uh, we weren't... Hear that? Uh, yes, um, uh, it is either being on television that's exciting him, but I think that he probably feel this is a most unusual day. Well, I think we might even get a peek at him pretty soon and, um, and see if he's as excited as the rest of us seem to be here today. All right, here's our Winnipeg uh, shot now, and uh, it is getting a lot darker. And uh, you told me some time ago that uh, it was an eerie sensation when a total eclipse occurs. It is. A, and you weren't exaggerating. This is strange, strange. The shadows right now up here on our rooftop studio are extremely sharp. Okay, there's Brandon. So they're still um, enveloped in darkness out there. Huh? Oh, and it's a beautiful eclipse and a beautiful day out there at Brandon. I'm sure the people uh, are, are thrilled. Bill, people have come from all over the world to see this eclipse, and they've come here to see this particular show, and I know they're having a wonderful time out there. They are holding their breath, uh, almost wishing it to last longer. The wind is really begin, beginning to pick up here. You might hear it on the microphone, as a does, matter of fact. Does that ever fail to happen? Can we always count on an increase in the velocity of the wind? No, time? but I think you can count on a change in the weather. Can you take a look out to the west, too? It certainly there's, seems to be darker. There's the Brandon Diamond Ring. The Diamond Ring is over. and uh, Is it over? The Diamond Ring is, is continuing right now. I'm yeah. sure people are using their, their visors right now or whatever technique they have for observing the sun. And we can see the sliver of sunlight is back. And for the people in Brandon, the total eclipse is over. It comes and goes just like that. Now, here's our Winnipeg sky again. Talk yes, about and we're slivers. down to our last minute before totality here. Take a look with, uh, with your welder's glass, and you'll see it's just mm -hmm. a tiny sliver. We have exactly 45 seconds to totality. Can you see the way the moon is uh, breaking up? There's a mountain on the moon which has taken a sliver of the sunlight off, and now it's disappearing. That is, in effect, one of Bailey's beads. Well, and there's a look at the light on the ground too. It's a strange, eerie light out here. And if you look over on the horizon, the horizon is beginning to darken right now as the shadow is sweeping towards us. There is just a little bit of cloud, Bill. We might be able to see some of the clouds. Bailey's beads are being shown on the screen beautifully right now. It's breaking up the image right now, and here on the studio, it is extremely dark. <laughs> Are you there? Are you there? Look at the way the shadow is sweeping over, and look in the sky. Yes, when you look something. up there... Fantastic. Now, this is the safe time for us to look. This is a safe time to look and just drink it in. Can you see some red spots on the lower left side of the moon, Yes, Bill? I can. Yes, indeed. And this is the time I'd like you to take out your binoculars and take a look at what's up there in the sky. Yep. I am absolutely enthralled. There's a beautiful, beautiful red prominence down about 7 o'clock. There's another one up about 10 o'clock. Magnificent. You know, there's a, a voice in the background. Jacob Donald is in that clear jet high above us. And uh, perhaps some of you uh, watching could hear Jake in the background giving his description of it as well. He's uh, obviously enthralled, and you can't blame him. Would you'll you, be getting a different perspective of it. I would like you just to look around us right now, because if you look around, you'll see the horizon looks like a sunset, a, a yellow glow out in the distance. It's a very, very strange day. And if you look around the city, the lights are on. And up in the sky is that incredible sight. Yes, I'm going to see if I can get Jake O'Donnell. Hello, Jake. Uh, You're reading me there. Jake, can you read me? Bill, can I draw your attention to the fact that there is... Uh, Roger, uh, John. I read you now. Yes. Um, tell us what you can see. How high are you flying right now, Jake? 
Uh, Angels, 401, 41,000 feet. Bill, no, we've just been through totality and the sun just coming out the other side now. And was it all you expected it would be? No, it was a great deal uh, more wonderful. We saw the corona just beautiful there as it was going in. We saw Bailey's beads just perfectly down to the left-hand side. We had a little bit of stratus below us there, which is about 33,000 feet. Turned a vivid pink. The horizon remained a nice azure blue there and a darker blue going right up. Just, uh, just a sight of a lifetime. Uh, a golly gee whiz, uh, Howie Baker. Bill, the go. diamond ring. The diamond ring is okay. Appeared. It's now on Thanks, Jake. Winnipeg Thank you. Watch. And for us, the eclipse is over. Now it's back to the shields, right? Back to the shields. The diamond ring is over. As a matter of fact, around the sun there is a beautiful glow because there's a little bit of cloud up there, a little bit of haze, and uh, for a moment we got a glimpse of, of, uh, of a halo around the sun just as the diamond ring reappeared. Bailey's these are back. Peter, open it. Wow. And Bill? That was the show. <laughs> that was a show. You know, I felt frustrated there for a moment. I was talking. Yeah. I'm looking around now to see if All right, listen. Any... We're going to go to the, the Bel Air camera right now. We're going to see. There we are. Isn't There's the Bel Air shot. 60 kilometers north of Winnipeg. And that's the scene there. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, there's a beautiful, beautiful prominence. It's 7 o'clock. It's absolutely stunning. A great big thing. Uh, it's, an, it's a cloud of active hydrogen, very much bigger than the Earth, towering out in space beyond the moon and over on the uh, around three o'clock and uh, around to four or five and six o'clock on the uh, the moon we're beginning to see some of the red of the uh, chromosphere the the uh, atmosphere of the sun just above the bright photosphere the bright part that you normally see on the daytime well i think we've seen a a great many eclipses today, and more than we bargained for. Uh, as I said when we came on the air today, there was some question about seeing an eclipse at all. We were uh, putting all our stock in that Hercules aircraft, but uh, we didn't have to worry about that at all. This has been something else. And you know, Robert, I might say to you that uh, this is everything you promised it would be. A very strange sensation I had when that was happening, and I'm sure many others felt Bill, Bel Air is not very far from here, and if you look around to the uh, northwest right now, the sky is much, much darker. It's in that direction so that the shadow is moving across the province and uh, for some people the eclipse is still going on. Bel Air I see that the uh, photosphere is just reappearing again. The diamond ring is occurring for the people there and for them totality is also. You know, I can understand why that uh, that diamond ring can be such a dangerous thing, because you seem to be lured to it. You want to watch that. And you think the people who didn't know about eye damage, you'd be, you'd be taken right in with that. You, you want to stare at it somehow. It's isn't isn't it hypnotic? The whole thing is absolutely fascinating. That's right. I wonder how the young people have reacted watching this in the schools today. Huh? Well, my hope is that they have learned something, because it is this kind of an event that puts you in touch with the cosmos. This is the only time that you can you can feel the motions of the heavenly bodies as they as they move through space. Uh, you can go out night after night and see the, how the moon has moved across the skies that orbits the earth, but it is at this moment that right. you can feel the motions of the heavenly bodies. I've been sitting next to Robert Valentine, who's director of the Manitoba Planetarium.